Okay, in this example, we are going to determine how to find an x value given a corresponding z score. So what we're doing is we're going from z to x. Well, um, in this example, we have heights of uh, Minnesota women are normally distributed with a mean of 150 pounds, a standard deviation of 15. So we want to find the um, weights corresponding to the following z scores. So what we're given here are z's, so all of these are z's, and we want to find the x that goes with it. The formula that allows you to go from z to x and vice versa is x is equal to mu plus c sigma where mu is the population mean and sigma is the population standard deviation so we're just going to do x is equal to mu which is 150 so in all of these cases mu is going to be 150 pounds and sigma will be 15 pounds Okay, so 150 plus 1.23 times 15. 150 plus 1.23 times 15. So 168.45 pounds. Okay, so here we have x is equal to 150 plus 0.56 times 15, 50 plus 0.56 times 15, so 158.4 pounds. Okay. And the next two are going to be done in the exact same way. Now whenever you have a z-score of 0, that should be whatever the mean is. So when we plug this into the formula, we should get 150, which was the mean, and we do. So you might not have even have had to plug it into the formula. Okay. And lastly, x is equal to 150 minus 1.23 times 15. So I'm going to skip around with my calculator by pulling up the one I did earlier and just changing that to a minus. And there you go. Now one thing that you should always double check is to make sure that your z values make sense. Um, you know, if it's zero, it should be the mean. If it's positive, it should be more than the mean. So notice all, both of our positive ones were greater than 150 pounds. And if it's negative, it should be less than the mean. And notice it was less than 150 pounds. So we're good.